RevivalHouse.net here with a commentary. Uh, this week, in true revival fashion, we're going back and forth on genres because we don't give a fuck. Uh, I know the last few we've done have been, they've ranged from like exploitation to horror to yada yada. Uh, we're going to kind of kind of go back to something nostalgic. We're going to do a 90s movie. It's something that I guess Riverman is pretty fond of. Uh, surf Ninjas, anybody? Surf, surf ninjas. Bros don't surf. Um, so it's funny because I actually watched this a couple weeks ago and, uh, you know, it is what it is. It's exactly how I remember it, but yet it's not quite as, I don't know how much it holds up. Like, I don't know how much, uh, I'd rewatch it. That's why I wanted to watch it because I haven't seen it since it came out in 93 and that's the last time I've seen it. I really? Renning, Renning is, I was a kid. Back on VHS with uh, one of my buddies, and we used to watch it all the time. We loved it, but I haven't seen this forever it. either. Interesting. Well, you know, it's uh, I'm sitting there acting like it doesn't hold up at yada yada, but it's not like even when I was a kid, it was the greatest thing since sliced bread. You know, it it wasn't. It wasn't like uh, Ninja Turtles. It wasn't. I don't even think it was even as good as Three Ninjas to me. So maybe uh, you know, it was uh, the nineties Ninja craze. Yeah, mm. absolutely. Thanks, Turtles, Power Rangers. Um, <laughs> But uh, I don't know. There's some kids' movies from back then that I could still watch this day over and over again. But uh, we can go ahead and start watching it. This rip, I don't know what it's from. Did you just find it on the interwebs, Zach, or what? It's my DVD. Okay. So, when it pops on here, is it just going to be the New Line Cinema, like, right away? Yep. Which I miss the old uh, I miss the old New Line Cinema logo before it was a Time Warner company. But if we're all ready and queued up, you guys want to do the uh, three, two, one count? Mm-hmm. Yep. All right. So, let's go ahead and start. Get right into it. Three, two, one, play. Hell yeah. There it is. There's the old school New Line Cinema. That's pre-Lord of the Rings New Line Cinema. The house that Freddy built. The house that Freddy built, yeah, yeah. That would have been a good movie to do. It's Freddy's Dead. Freddy's Dead. Nightmare 4 would be good, too, because I do love Nightmare 4. Yeah, but Freddy's Dead, the one we said we were going to do. I know, Corey. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that title screen. <laughs> it's Bad badass, 90s. dude. There, there's some... I mean, this movie's got Ernie Reyes Jr., who's obviously Kino from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2, Secret of the Ooze, Rob Schneider. I mean, technically, he was on SNL in these days. Uh, Tone Low, it seemed like he was in everything in the 90s. I said Tone Loke. It's Tone Low, dude. The Sea of Silence, like Django. Uh, but that guy, the dude with the patch, that's Ernie Ray Sr. That's Kino's dad in real life. Look at that cheesy ass shot. I know. Not even surfing, really, dude. <laughs> Standing on the board on the shore. Hey, you think that's Kino are. right there? It looks nothing like him, dude. <laughs> Help? <laughs> Help? Kelly who? Before the Scorpion King and X-Men 2? You think whenever she tells people her name was Kelly Who, she's like, no, my name's Kelly Who. And they're like, yeah, Kelly what? She's like, who? Kelly Who. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. Dude, I like all this uh, kick-ass generic uh, 90s, 80s rock, dude. Yeah. That's, <laughs> like, that literally somebody got paid a few sandwiches to do for their movie. Mm-hmm. I was hoping I'd hear some uh, Dave Mustaine singing. Oh, like Go to Hell, dude? Yeah. Go to Hell and uh, Bill and Ted too, man. Just found out he's going to be in a movie, Dave Mustaine. Oh, yeah? What, uh, which gay porn is it again? Uh, New movie. Uh, let me look it up real quick. But You know, it's funny. We were actually talking, me and uh, Aaron were actually talking about doing the uh, Some Kind of Monster documentary because it's on Netflix. Go for it, man. That's all you guys. <laughs> Why? You should so, You should too, man. Sore sport, man. It's painful to watch that. It's a good commentary. The Fruit Loops, man. What's you guys' favorite cereal? Uh, I guess Count Chocula is kind of hot. Raisin Bran Crunch. Yeah, that is the best. I like Raisin Bran. I like fucking... Captain Crunch berries. Make your shirt shit turn green, dude. Lucky Charms is good. I don't eat that many much cereal. I really don't that much. Anymore. Shredded wheat. 
That's good. Shredded wheat's good. I'll give you that. Makes you shit a lot, too. Yeah. Lou Temple's in this movie with Dave Mustaine. It's called Homeless Ashes. Look at that kniff. What? Fuck yeah, fuck the man. Kid doesn't even look Asian. I he, he, he could be a uh, Mexican. Guess what this Me- movie has on Rotten Tomatoes? Twelve percent, three percent. Fuck! Did you say twelve percent? Yeah, you nailed it. How'd you do that? Because I I saw it earlier. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that bigger than fucking Amityville two? Yeah, Amityville two. That that score is unjustified. Rob Schneider looks like a cancer patient in this shot, dude. Uh, he does. That's insensitive, but yeah, he does. Uh, you know, so Kino is like, he's Filipino. His little brother could literally be Mexican. Rob Schneider, I don't know what he's trying to pass off as in this movie. It's like, he's weird, man. Like, whoever thought he was good comic relief, you know? Remember it was I mean, cool to shave her sideburns like that where he didn't have any? And it just went straight across. Look at, look at his sideburns, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Awful, man. I used to go to the hairstylist, the uh, students or whatever, and they used to screw up my hair all the time, but my mom took me there because it was so cheap. She's like, oh, they did a great job, and they had to have somebody come around and double check to make sure they did a good job. They always fucked it up. Dude, they're wearing the ice camo. I can't even see them. Yeah, it's ridiculous. <laughs> Why the fuck are they wearing that? <laughs> fucking stupid. Is that what it's like? Over. The fuck? Moto surf! Moto surf! Dude, isn't it weird that, like, Rob Schneider was in a movie with Ernie Reyes Jr. and he wasn't, like, the star? Like, who the fuck is Ernie Reyes Jr.? I wonder if we, like, ran to Rob... You know, I saw Rob Schneider. He was working a comedy club and... I, that I was uh, frequenting, and it's I should have asked him like, "Hey, you remember Ernie Ray's Jr.? Remember that fucking guy? Is he I still like in the hospital or whatever? Who? Oh, Ernie Ray. That's right. He was sick, wasn't he? Yeah. I think he got like injured somehow or something. Yeah, he's primarily a stunt guy, like his dad. Moto surf, man. Moto surf is not a crime, man. Was that a big trend? Like, really? Like people fucking putting that outside their car? Like, yeah, we cool. <laughs> God. Hey, guess who directed this movie? Who? Oh. Same guy that directed Real Genius. Really? Bachelor Party. Oh, wow, really? Wow, Bachelor Party Those are Party great movies. I love Real Genius, too. Police Academy 1 and 2. Okay, we're starting to go downhill, but... The Brady Bunch. <laughs> oh, I like the Brady Bunch. Oh, the show or the movies? Oh, wait, it says the Brady Bunch in the White House TV movie. Oh, it was a fucking TV reunion. I don't even remember that. Wonder Years. Two episodes. I love the show, man. Brady Bunch show. Movies are okay. I like the movie. Watch the shows every every Sunday. Oh, dude, he he directed The Adventures of Mary Kate and Ashley, The Case of the Sea World Adventure. Nice. That's a wonderful film. No worries, brah. What a douchebag. Don't fucking naysay him. Ba, 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 Sounds like Mitchell Goose and saying brah, dude. You ain't worth it, brah. You ain't worth it. (laughs) You ain't worth it, Jones. We're definitely doing that movie. Has he ever seen it? Airborne? I don't know. I don't think Aaron appreciate Airborne. Not. 
I don't, man, I, all those Disney movies or whatever were so interchangeable as uh, made for TV, Disney Channel films. It wasn't made for TV. It wasn't? No. You're thinking of Brink, dude. We should do yeah. Johnny Tsunami, dude, with uh, Carrie Degawa. God. Johnny Tsunami. Ba 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 I ran. <laughs> Baba Ram. Dude, this is I love- this is some Saved by the Bell shit, man. Yeah, dude. <laughs> so cheesy, dude. It's that cheesy one Asian guy. Fuck. That Asian guy is like in every Asian movie, dude. Gung ho, he's in fucking everything. This kid's a dumbass, by the way. <laughs> Here. Look at that fucking Jew. What's he looking for? He's a Germany. I think he said Germany, but he's like, I mean, who was, I was never look at that fucking kid. I'm tired of seeing a close of his schnoz. What do you Thank guys? What are you guys at? 933. Yeah, me too. That kind of looks like Terry Tagawa, dude. I think it is him. It's him, the same guy. I already said it's Ernie Ray's, man. Are you going to say Kino was also Chan, dude? Mm Mm-hmm. Oh, that's Baraka. (laughs) He was in the trailer, dude. I remember that. That bald guy. Guess who the villain is, you remember? It's Leslie Nielsen, man. We saw the yeah. fucking credits. Yeah. He's an awful villain. He's horrible. It's Kano, dude. Yeah. <laughs> so we got Shang Tsung, Kano, Baraka, uh, Chan. Chin. He's going to pop out the game gear. It was like I chained up, dude. <laughs> His sex slave. And no makeup. Surprised he agreed to actually do this role. Mostly oh, not nice. me. Not me. This fucker was doing Mr. Magoo. Uh, I think he was out of Naked Gun movies because OJ was going to fucking jail. I mean, oh, like, that's right. This? <laughs> There's a real Surf Ninjas game for the Sega Game Gear, but it's completely it really? different from what Adam was playing. However, the game Adam plays in the movie is also real. It was developed by Sega exclusively for use in the movie. Thanks, Corey G. It was it was never released? I guess it was just made for the movie. Oh, for him to play. That dude, uh, that Asian guy we just saw in the van, he was also another Asian guy in a million movies. I last saw him in Lethal Weapon 4 as the uh, waiter that gets chased down by Riggs. Look at this more sweet, uh, generic Twisted Metal 2 metal songs. The reason that the use of the Sega Game Gear was a big part of the story was that Sega was financing a part of the production. Oh, really? Guess hmm. so. Buttons and wax on. I always remember shots like these for some reason. Like, oh yeah, he's underwater. He pokes his head up. (laughs) Awful, dude. Like, that would be so, like... A ninja couldn't fucking hide in the water like that, dude. Even they're fucking manipulated by water. It'd be pushing them all over the fucking place. (laughs) 
You just see him floating. You just see him floating. They're like, hey, there's a ninja. He's trying to hide. Is that the dog from Air Bud? <laughs> it's not even the same fucking breed, dude. They all look alike. You know, Air Bud wasn't too bad, but I got to tell you, Spooky Buddies, that's where it's at. <laughs> spooky Buddies. <laughs> uh. Corgi's the main. Big Gahunas. What'd you do if I just like we started doing a commentary and I just stayed in a in a in a character like that and no matter what you guys said, like, what are you doing? I just didn't acknowledge it. What'd you you guys didn't think? you didn't acknowledge what? What we're talking about or what? I just didn't acknowledge that I'm playing, I'm trolling. Uh well, we'd figure it out. Man, God, you know it's 90s when there's overalls. I used to wear mm-hmm. those. Yeah, but in the early 90s, like when you were like a kid. like Yeah, and was it, you had to was wear it cool? one strap down, man. Oh, like crisscross, dude? Yeah. Did you wear them backwards? I did occasionally. Are you fucking serious? Yeah. I'm kidding. God. No, I was serious. So you went from crisscross to Dave Matthews, dude. It's crazy. Oh, Chris Cross in the early 90s and then Dave Matthews in the early 2000s. I didn't dress like Dave Matthews, no. Well, I did a puka shell necklace. What the fuck's stealthy about jumping through the window like that? Oh, <laughs> never mind. My bad. Shang Tsung threw him through the window. Ninjas always make the same noises. Ayo, see, ayo, see, ayo, see, ayo. I remember I, just last night, I was listening to a podcast, and they fucking basically explained why they do that, why the ninjas do that. What, make those noises? All the reasoning behind it, and, and I fucking forgot. Obviously, I didn't think it was that interesting to remember. I don't think the grill would heat up that fast. <laughs> Didn't we have a fight scene like this, very similar in uh, Beverly Hills Ninja, like at a kitchen and grill? God, I haven't seen that in forever. I, I think it's the superior ninja comedy. It is funny, I'll give you that. Oh, it cracks me up. There's so many what? fucking... And, that, and, 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 you know, that actually has Robin Shu in it. There's your Mortal Kombat connection. Yep. Mm-hmm. Look at this. And plus, Wait. this movie has Shang Tsung. As a, a wannabe. Uh, hey, that's a... Uh, isn't that a Master Boy dude with the Hawaiian shirt? <laughs> the boat leaves Pier 40, Hong Kong, tomorrow. Be on it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know who should have played the fucking character of uh, Rob Schneider? Who? Who? Polly Shore. Ugh. He would, dude. You know what? He was just as quintessential '90s. He would have been just right. He would have been right off of like Encino Man. He I can't pro- believe <laughs> you guys no, no, actually. He- <laughs> like, like we were curious. Like we didn't know what you were going to fucking say. <laughs> that was genius. Yeah. Whatever happened to Sean Astin? He's done, and then Brandon Fraser's done. All Sean Astin was in uh, the first season of The Strain, which was pretty good. Mm. No, but I mean, on the topic of Polly Shore, like this, you know, you always troll with that <laughs> and you, you think Polly Shore is great in every movie. I mean, it could be the social network. It could be fucking Schindler's list. Uh, you think Polly Shore has a spot, but 
This movie actually makes sense. 1993, silly family comedy. You could absolutely see the fucking weasel in this. And he would have played the weasel, right? He just would have mm-hmm. been like him in Encino Man. Mm-hmm. And, and, and I think put him in overalls think, and he'd fit right in. I think it would have been better. I mean, Rob Schneider, he tries really hard and his stuff's just, I don't know, it doesn't, doesn't land with me. Um, he's not quite as funny as he is in, uh, Home Alone 2, which is weird because this is actually, I think, like a year after Home Alone 2. Mm-hmm. How are you going to act like the animal wasn't a great movie? Oh, the animal? Fuck, I never saw the animal. It's all a hot chick. That's you want your, your key in the bag? Oh, hold on to it. He's the son of a thousand maniacs. <laughs> <laughs> Rob Schneider thought that was funny, too. <laughs> <laughs> Love that smile. Wow, those sideburns are just bugging me. <laughs> Look at those things, man. This guy's Bob amazing. amazing. They're illegal immigrants. Shane Sun's acting is fucking amazing in this. Doesn't Satch look kind of Native American? Yeah, he does. Like, isn't it? It's funny how, like, these actors of these different ethnic groups will protest if there's not, like, equal roles and whatnot. But they don't find it offensive if they get cast for everything well, with dark skin. This is before they started doing that shit, man. I mean, like, you don't this see. This is before it, it went too far. This has been going on too far. This is when it was still okay. Do you see that dude that hit the bell? Yeah. His busted ass teeth. <laughs> yeah, he was in Ace Ventura too. Ace Ventura is awesome. We show it up. I always hate whenever I don't brush up on these movies before we record. But I was just get, I was just guessing about that Ace Ventura Zoo thing. <laughs> oh, remember when the remember when he popped the baby? He popped the baby out, dude. And then he was mm-hmm. like, <laughs> "Look, look at him! It's like he's Raphael in Turtles Three. He looks ridiculous in that samurai suit. What is that shit all about?" Remember, Freddy got fingered whenever the late he pulls the baby out of her vagina, and he's. Fucking leaning on, he's using the cord to support his weight, <laughs> and then he he fucking cuts it with his teeth, and then starts swinging it around and getting blood everywhere. God. I used to have that Raphael toy. Where'd he go? He's wearing the same samurai shit that they are in the third fucking Turtles movie. You think that's what got that movie off the ground? They watched this movie and like, we need to do that. Pretty much. You ever seen it like on Blu-ray? Though I like I, I've seen copies of it on Blu-ray where they actually put Turtles in Time as part of the, the title. Really? Yeah, it's a. Wasn't that like foreign though? Isn't that, wasn't that a foreign thing? Maybe. I think that was an alternate title uh, in different uh, domains, uh, which it totally makes sense. Yeah, except it's no I, fucking good compared to the game. It's no good at all. Not even compared to any, dog shit. Hey, that's a good <laughs> movie. Wet Woodham. Hey, did you ever play the Turtles in Time arcade game? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, not the not the Super Nintendo one, the actual arcade. Yeah, I like the Super Nintendo one better. Well, it's better because they added levels, of course, and things like that. But the arcade really has something going on for it because it does have some cool differences. I think it's pretty cool. Um, Remember when they made that reshelled version that you could get on like dog shit, man? It's so stupid. 
it was a remake of the arcade game. And when I played it, I was like, where's those fucking levels that I like so much? Yeah, it's totally. St- oh, that shit. Is this a sequel to Surf Nazis Must Die? <laughs> Should have been. I think that was a trauma movie. Yeah. Dude, he's going to fuck those kids. <laughs> yeah, they don't know who the, he's, he's entrusting those kids with. Did he check the sex uh, offense offender registry? Before hanging them off. That could be a... Uh, never mind. I almost made an inside joke that nobody would have gotten. I wouldn't have got it. No, he wouldn't have got it. Only only Ty would have gotten it, so it wouldn't have been funny. Well, then make it. I can't. And then explain it. I was going to... We'll just nah. talk about people we know that have molested kids. We'll just dox them on the See, that guy's hair is fucking crazy, dude. Who's Mr. Dunbar in this? Is is that their dad? Their white dad, maybe? I don't know. Look look at him on IMDb. He's in this movie. It's fucking Vladimir Putin. Dude. Vladimir Putin, yeah. That's what he looks like. He's the director. Yep. Neil Israel. It's the guy that directed the movie, too. Yeah, he looks exactly like Vladimir Putin. Somebody must have put a picture of Vladimir Putin on here. Because that is... <laughs> that is Vladimir Putin. <laughs> Wait, yeah, it is. is. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even notice. I was like, yeah. that looks like fucking Vladimir Wait, Putin. Who's the director yeah. in the movie? He's also acting in the movie? Yeah. Neil Israel. Israel. Yeah. Who is that though? Who's he playing? Mr. Dunbar, whoever that was. I don't I don't remember. Maybe it was the fucking principal at the beginning. Unless mm. we haven't seen him yet. Maybe it's that maybe it's that David Lynch looking fucking guy. Right there. <laughs> I think it's Tone Low. It's his real name. Oh, oh, this! I love this guy, man. He's so funny. He's from Ace Ventura. I think he was doing the rapping in the beginning, wasn't he? That rap song. In this movie? He looked at the size of the roach's dick and became insanely jealous. <laughs> Only this. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever happened to Ace? Your gun is digging into my hip. I like him in blank check. We could have done that too. That's on Netflix. That's actually on Netflix. Yeah, I I I love that movie. Like. And I get it that that's not like some great movie. And that blank check was just capitalizing on the same type of shit. It was capitalizing on on sort of the Home Alone thing, right? Mm-hmm. And, and, mm-hmm. and it, it, it was basically putting a kid in the center doing something that all kids wish they could do and fantasize about. And then it pretty much turned into Home Alone in the third act, where they're all breaking into the house and he's got traps, right? I mean, same thing. I would have done uh, the same fucking thing if somebody gave me a blank check as a kid. Write a check for what a million dollars? Is that isn't that what he did? Mm-hmm. Mr. Macintosh. We still need to do all the uh Mighty Ducks films too. Mm-hmm. I don't want anything coming down on those kids. Except for me. I'm going to go down on them kids. I'm going <laughs> to soak their dick like this. It's <laughs> fucking gross. <laughs> who is who is that guy? What's what's his name? Do you know? He's in like every 90s movie. Oh, Tone Low? Tone Low. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's the rapper, dude. Wow, thing. Yeah, that's what I said. He was doing the rap in the beginning. Yeah. When when I say when we say he was in everything, he wasn't really in everything. He was in this, uh, surf, this Ace Ventura and Blank Check. I can't think of anything else. 
<laughs> but that was like three movies like in the same one 12 month span. It was crazy. I'm sure he's been in other shit too. Oh man, I I I'm going to pull his IMDb up right now and see if there's anything else that I'm forgetting. I mean, he was in Sea Bear and Jamal, dude. Sea Bear and Jamal, remember that show? They didn't even like him enough to put him on the fucking build, uh, the top build on the fucking Surf Ninjas IMDb page. Okay, so. I got to ask Zach this question because he's a big Polly Shore guy. Um, I can't figure out what movie this is from, but I always did this to my wife. Like, I wore whitey tidies, and then, like, I hopped on the bed, and I start barking with my penis. You know, my bulge. You know how he does that? He's like, riff, 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 riff. <laughs> he starts, like, he starts thrusting. He starts thrusting his bulge, Did Was that from In the Army Now, or was that from uh, Jury I Duty? think, it, yeah, it was In the Army Now, the scene where they're, they come back home before they go off again. Yes, what? and and he he has I don't know I don't know what she, she's like an Italian wife I don't know what she is or girlfriend or but uh, yeah. I I can't I can't find that scene like I saw I watched it on TV unless they cut it out of the TV version but maybe I always love that scene I always bug my wife doing that thing <laughs> you, you know what scene I'm talking about right if it's not in that one it would be in jury duty because he's like a fucking stripper. At the beginning and end of the movie. It might have been that because I think he was wearing some sort of like leopard print uh like thong or something. I, I think he's I think he just wears that and in the army now. I think oh, okay. it's from that movie. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have to look for that scene on YouTube. It's so funny. Tone Loke would did the he was on the Encino Man soundtrack. I'm looking at here, he was in Spy Hard. Uh, that Leslie Nielsen movie. Uh, but he was in Heat, which I can't fucking believe that shit. It says soundtrack though. Oh no, uh, no, he was in he was in fucking Heat. He actually played a legit character in Heat. That's crazy. He did a lot of TV. Uncle Buck. He was in Uncle Buck. Uh Poetic Justice with Janet Jackson. The Return of Superfly. Oh, he's in the he was the Adventures of Ford Fairlane, a slam the rap. Oh, I love that movie. Have you seen that? Yeah, I've seen it it's with hysterical. Fucking, uh, fucking Wayne Newton, dude. Yeah. Oh, why don't you go sing something? I made pasta. <laughs> I made pasta. <laughs> you have got to be kidding. Why don't you go sing something? <laughs> <laughs> you need a bodyguard? I die for you. <laughs> what movie are you talking about? Vegas Vacation. Vegas Vacation. Oh, yeah. okay. He's fucking, painting, he's fucking painting a Minotaur version of himself, dude. <laughs> With her riding on <laughs> yeah. his back, dude. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the ninjas in this movie really need to get together with the ninjas and three ninjas and fucking like, uh, Hang out, mm -hmm. and not and not be seen because they're all fucking chameleons that that like to come out in the middle of the day. We still haven't done last action hero, have we? No, that'd be that'd be pretty funny. Well, what, what about a couple of vehicles? What about Battlefield Earth, dude? Oh no, thank you. You guys can do it yourself <laughs> support that fucking trash, dude. Battlefield Earth. <laughs> Silly humans. Is that the TV show? No, no yeah, Battlestar Galactica. No, Battlefield oh. Earth is like one of the worst movies ever made with John, John Travolta. John Travolta and fucking oh, uh, Crooked okay. Eye. Whittaker. Forrest Whitaker, yeah. It's based off the... Uh, I want to do Commando. Ooh, with Matthew Lillard, dude. No, Commando? wait, Commando. Oh, I was thinking Wing Commander, dude. I'm sorry. I was thinking, we were on the topic of space movies that are really terrible, and I, that's why I went to Wing Commander. No, Matthew Commando Lillard is cool, man. What the fuck? He does shaggy. a good Shaggy. Yeah. Uh, I would love to do a Commando, though. You remember that fucking uh, Nickelodeon show he had that's called Skate TV? N no, not No, uh-uh. He, yeah. Like, I think Tony Hawk was on that doing the Mick Twist. He's like, He's sitting there. He's got the microphone. He's like, "Welcome to Skate TV, guys." We're here watching Tony Hawk, and he's 
fucking skating in the swimming pool. Was this before Scream? Yeah, it was like it had to have been. May, it might have been eighties, late eighties. It had to have been because I don't remember it. Uh, the eighties Nickelodeon. I mean, all I remember about that is like uh, I barely remember. You can't do that on television. Uh, of course, Welcome Freshman, and then there was stuff like. Um, uh, I, only, I only saw it because, like, in like two thousand five, they had an extra channel and they'd show like no- old noggin, like the noggin or whatever it was. Yeah, something like that, and they'd show old Nickelodeon stuff. I used to watch Nick Arcade, and all the girls always pick Sonic the Hedgehog because he was cute. Nick Arcade is actually pretty good. It's a good concept. I used to, I used to think it would be so cool to do that final challenge in that little virtual reality game. But now I realize how fucking stupid it probably was, dude. You're in front of a green screen, dude. Do you guys and- think, uh, oh, go ahead. No, go ahead. Do you guys think fucking Sonic was just a fluke? Uh, no, I mean, because they, they made a good game with the first one, then they perfected it with the second one, and then it kind of went downhill after that. So maybe. Kind of. I mean, they peaked early. They peaked early. I mean, early. It, it, it was it was brought up as the fucking answer to Mario, but I always thought Mario was better. Sonic's cool thought, in his own right, I thought. Yeah. When I was a kid, I didn't think Sonic deserved to even be in the same list as Mario. Really? Yeah. Oh, I thought I Sonic games are great, dude. He, But he does not have the consistency of the Mario titles. Sonic, Sonic 2 is the only flawless game, I think. Yeah, Sonic 2 is perfect. I love Sonic 2. So, so, it's like Sonic 1's good, but once you play 2, Sonic 1 doesn't hold a candle. Sonic um, 3, I wasn't a big fan of that. Sonic No, Sonic and, and no. there's there's some people that interchange Sonic 2 and Sonic 3 as far as their favorite. They can't tell no which one. No way. Sonic and, yeah, some, some people love Sonic 3, and I can't uh, – yeah, I can't – it's just missing something magic. It's missing the magic. Uh, but 2 is perfect. But that's it. Whereas, like, Mario, you can't... They had the Mario 1, Mario 2, Mario 3, Mario World. I mean, Mario 64. I mean, the list goes on and on and on. I kind of feel it. You know Phil Moore is still doing conventions? Who? Phil Moore from uh, Nick Arcade. Oh, f- what? What kind of conventions is he doing? I think he's doing video game. I heard on the pad NES Punk, uh, he was talking about that. He's been doing cons. Phil Moore. <laughs> what does he look like now? He was just a college kid when he did that he's, show before. He's he's in his 60s now. Or 50s. No way. Really? He was born in 61. My pit stank. Fuck. I'm going to look him up. He's 55. Okay. It's about to say, I mean, 60s. Woo. Still, that's pretty old, man. I missed the show What Would You Do on Nickelodeon. Remember that? Yeah. What Would You Do? Yeah, that was a good show. What What, what, what Would You Do? Remember uh, Stick Stigley? Mm-hmm. It's weird. Remember? remember it's me, Face. Oh, God. Yeah. I remember they used to always fuck up. And like he would say, "Little bears up next," and then it, something else would come on, <laughs> and my sister would be like, "Face is a fucking liar." Yeah, he would do that. Little bear. Yeah, he would do that shit. Little bear. What about little Bill, dude? Little uh, rape Bill Cosby. Little Bill. Little Bill. A lot of Bills raping people. Yeah. Little Bill. Little Bill. I always remember that stupid fucking look Bill Cosby got in his face whenever he gave him the hat or tried to give him the hat in the yeah, opening. Yeah. yeah. Do you remember that? Do you guys remember the show? Uh, <laughs> um, fuck, man. Why can't I think of it? Uh, Gullah Gullah Island. Mm hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Come and let's play together in the bright sunny weather. Let's all go to Gullah Island. Dad, Gullah dude, he was Island. so happy. Yeah, his name is Ron Wood. Ron and Natalie Wood. He's like, come on, put your foot in your hand. I'm like, what the fuck does that mean? Put your <laughs> foot in your hand. I used to watch Eureka's Castle, too. That was a great was show, and that was an early Nickelodeon. That I don't know if that was quite 80s or if it was just kind of turn of the 90s, but that was older, too. I love that show, though, man. Eureka's Castle. I don't remember that one. Really? 
It's great. Kind of before my time. 89 yeah. to 95. It was on until 95? No fucking way. That's what IMDb says. What? 89, I, I was going to guess like 89 to 91. Maybe 92. I probably would have saw it then if it was on then. 95. I'm, I'm going to look into it further. Want to go to the mall sometime? <laughs> Sorry, I just had to drop in a movie quote because we're watching this movie. I forgot. The mall. Oh, she's going to submit. She's going to submit. They going to fuck. <laughs> what the fuck? You ever like jack off for a while and your hand gets like really fucking sore and you, you do that and you can hear it popping? I do that. No. Hey, no. Uh, this show, wow. How did it only have four seasons, yet it was on from 89 to 95? Something's not right here. I have no idea. It says here it aired on the Nick Jr. block from September 4th, 89 until 1995. But really, was it, were they all new episodes? Those Game Gear graphics look a lot better in the movie than it actually does in real life. I never had a Sega. Oh, I finally got a Game Gear about five years ago. Oh, really? sucks. Yeah, it was cool in the day, though. Yeah. Okay, so I have the definitive answer if anybody even cares. Uh, That show was on for four seasons and only ran until 1992. So it, they just must have ran like uh, reruns till ninety five. Uh, they used to run it. Uh, I remember back when they brought the Muppet Show to Nick to- Nick Nick Tunes, you know, in syndication. I used to watch that all the time. The Muppet Show kicked ass. Oh, I like Muppet that show Babies or Muppet Show? No, the Muppet Show, like the legit seventies. Oh, yeah. They brought they put that in syndication in the nineties on Nick Junior. You you've seen the Alice Cooper one, right? Yeah. That's great, man. I, I wish I still had that VHS, the uh, the Halloween uh, Alice Cooper, uh, Vincent Price uh, double feature. That'd be cool. They're, they're great episodes, man. They're cool. And this kid can totally control real life with the Sega game. That, I, you know what? I know you were trying to do the Michelangelo voice from the trailer, but it sounded more like uh, the <laughs> fucking uh, the dude from Three Ninjas. <laughs> Slurpee? <laughs> <laughs> Radical. Faster. Why are they playing the stars theme song? It's, I'm pretty sure it's Beethoven. Nuh-uh, it's stars. It goes movies, 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 <laughs> movies. I think it's Beethoven. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. I yeah, know. Movies, movies, movies. Doesn't this guy get all his clothes cut up just like the fucker in Three Ninjas? Mm-hmm. Remember when he runs away? And then they smack him and he goes, ooh. <laughs> oh, okay. Maybe he's not. He's going to get the shit beat out of my satch. Why is he wearing that furries outfit like he's going to a sex party just like a tiger or cat? It's his fursona. Look, they're all wearing tiger stripes. What kind of ninjas are these? We should try to interview Michael Ray Bauer. Donkey oh, yeah. Lips. Donkey Lips. Yeah, I know we, he's he's all over YouTube. I think still. I, I know how we could. I know how we could get him to come for sure. Just say we're going to talk about Kim Trails. Yeah. Oh, is he, <laughs> he's into is he that one, shit. He's one of those guys. Yeah, I was. I was fucking reading and talking read about Kim Trails earlier. Actually. Oh oh Kim oh, oh oh oh. That's the highlight of the comedy in this movie right there. <laughs> Looks like it fucking hurts though. Getting look at that. Look at that. What good is that I, game gear? What good is that game gear if it's showing him what's happening that second? I think he's controlling it. I thought that was sheesh. I thought that was sheesh. <laughs> he's like, <laughs> I like it. He's like, no, your head's lopsided. Can you fix it? No, I can hide it. <laughs> Dude, we could talk about like, oh man, remember when you were in uh Dude, where's my car for like five minutes? That was cool. He, he was? Yeah. 
He was one of the Zoltan <laughs> guys with the bubble wrap on him. I don't even remember. I don't... Zoltan. He was also in uh, that movie with David Duchovny, Evolution. <laughs> oh, was he? Yeah, he's the guy that finds out that the way to kill the aliens is by using head and shoulders shampoo. I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like I just made it up, but that actually happens in the movie. What a bonehead. That's what they should have done. They should have put it into a jet and just shot the head and shoulder shampoo into the air like chemtrails. You know what I've all, I've wanted to do, uh, Todd? And I've, I've mentioned this to Zach a couple of times, but it hasn't really gone anywhere. But I think it'd be fun to do commentaries on Sleet Your Short episodes. I'd do it. I think I'd, it'd be fun. I'd love to. I think people would be interested in it. And heck, we might, uh, dare I say it, could we get away with having video footage even if we did it like in the old TV, Zach? Doubt it. Yeah, maybe. If we really? Shot, man. If we put it in the TV and did the whole deal? Well, why haven't they released any of those? I don't understand that. Doesn't make any sense to me. I don't know, but Nickel Nickelodeon is just sitting on all this gold. Because I mean, we could do a commentary on it, but like anybody's going to be able to sit there and watch that shit with us, you know? Like it's getting your hands on it and going to the trouble of downloading it. It's hard hard enough to find the shit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, I have everyone I'm on DVD. Thanks to Zach here. I don't even have it anymore. <laughs> oh. God. I need to pay it forward and send it back. I have to refine them. You may rise. <laughs> the famous Pinsky salami. <laughs> oh, you may rise. We definitely need to do uh, the Zeke the Plumber episode. Yeah. Oh yeah, that'd be fun. Yeah, we we could just experiment with some one offs and do like a special episode type thing. You know, I love the one mm-hmm. with the Burger Shack. Oh yeah, or- like. It's so like, uh, all 50 cheeseburgers and your phone and your number. your phone number. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's a funny show, man. I could I could bend to that right now and watch it. Why don't they put it on fucking Netflix? They should do that. They should bring that show back, get all the original cast and just put them back there and pretend like nothing happened, like it hasn't been years. They're still just playing kids. Well, Cooks, he's probably looking for work, too. Film it with yeah, the same buddy. cameras, too. No HD cameras, the same old grainy fucking cameras from 1991. That'd be awesome. Were you a bigger fan of Pinsky or are you a bigger fan of uh, Michael? Michael? Um, you know, I probably did like Pinsky better because he had more of a... M- Michael's kind of a baby. Yeah, uh, I agree. Pinsky, you know, of course, he has a salami and all that stuff, but I don't know, it just doesn't, doesn't really matter. Pinsky is well, more of the troublemaker, I think. But but in the in the first season where Michael was in it, that's when Bobby Budnick had the same hairdo he had in T two. So I'm partial. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, he, he had the no sideburns, dude. The fucking mullet, dude. The mullet, yeah. And then in the awesome. second, then the second one he had, he was rocking his bad for good fucking hair. His fucking rock band. He had his fucking fag I, ring. She's not my hate- mother, Todd. I don't hate the mullet, but I hate when you put the mullet in a ponytail. What the fuck are you pulling it away from? <laughs> You're going to have to fucking edit out the fuck up. <laughs> kept, Corey G kept trying to get in there. We weren't like him. We were fighting the power. Uh, I kept hearing the mullet. The, the mullet. The, the, the mullet. You're not supposed to notice. I did. <laughs> should do some California Dreams episodes, and then uh, Corey G can come back on. No, I'd rather eat fucking dick, man. No thanks. Me and Max started doing a fucking next Friday commentary that, that night. We did House, but we Oh, really? It. You guys did next Friday? How'd it go? We, f- we fucking aborted it, because we were just sitting there fucking saying the lines before they said them. Oh, yeah, because it's some of those comedies, it's just tough. Yeah. Because it's like, that's all you want to do. The movie almost commentates itself. Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah, he watched House, and he's on the same boat as you, River Man. He didn't like it. We did did House. I I was on Mac and Zach's podcast, and we did House. And yeah, I just, I didn't think it was that good. I watched it when I was a kid. I, I had the DVD, and then I think I ended up 
trading it off. I didn't really enjoy it. It just felt like, to me, it felt like uh, Poltergeist meets Evil Dead 2 mixed with Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. Exactly. And, uh, a little too strong leaning on the Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. I still think they should have made Honey, I Fucked the Kids. <laughs> Rick Moranis is a pedophile. I love Rick Moranis. They put him in jail, and then the kids have to shrink down to little <laughs> size to fit in between the bars to help him out. <laughs> it's like, Dad, we're sorry. We didn't mean to tell that you, you fucked us. <laughs> <laughs> we need to do another shitty movie and just shit on it. Like I like doing those commentaries more, I think. Oh, uh, This movie's pretty shitty. Brothers don't surf. What what no. shitty movie you want to? He's got pink chucks, man. What shitty movie would you want to do? I what? don't know. Well, that's why that's why I proposed when you asked should uh, we do Nightmare Four or Freddy's Dead <laughs> next, and I was like, well, Nightmare Four would be great, and that's the better movie, and I think that'd be an excellent commentary. But I, I don't even Freddy's hate Freddy's Dead, Dead though. I don't hate Freddy's Dead. I don't like Freddy's Dead. Freddy's Freddy Five is the worst. Yeah, but that's also not as fun to make fun of, though. No, Fre- it's not. It's just kind of, eh, it's just missing something. It's just kind of there. Freddy's Dead isn't a great movie, but man, there's so much to pick apart. There's so much mm-hmm. ad placement in that movie that's fun to pick at. Uh, there's so much uh, celebrity cameos. It's got some fun kills, right? Like you said, River, last episode we did, where the, the airplane, him falling on the bed of spikes, free falling. Mm-hmm. There's some cool nightmare scenes in it. Uh, but there's just something about the movie. I don't know. That used to scare me when I was younger, that scene. I don't know why. But... Oh, where he's pushing the spikes, dude? That's scary. It always made like, me scared of flying. He stops scared. and wipes his brow, dude. And release. Ooh, he's tired, dude. And I love it. I love it when he falls in the spikes, dude, and he still thinks he still thinks Freddy's his dad, dude. He's like, you think I'm your daddy? Mm, wrong. Wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. I wasn't a big New Nightmare fan either. I don't know if you guys are into that. but I, I, I love New Nightmare when it came out. It, I like New Nightmare all right, but I think they really fucked up changing his makeup. That's the worst possible decision they could have made. Yeah. Cause it looks like he's just, he looks like he's wearing a fucking Walmart mask. Yeah, I never wanted to rewatch that movie. I think I've only seen it once and I would, well, didn't dig it at all. So I think the idea they were going for the whole meta approach is really cool. I think, mm-hmm. uh, you know, I don't know if they, I don't know if they, uh, executed it perfectly, but I think the idea behind it's great. And yeah, I think it could have been a better movie, but I, I still respect it. I think I was watching on that uh, Never Sleep Again documentary where we're saying, weren't they saying that the uh, the idea behind that is what sort of launched kind of what happened with Scream with the whole yeah the mm. whole meta, the inside jokes, the horror, you know, taking it into reality. You know, I mean, there's something to be said for that, I guess, but. Which pretty much ruined the horror genre in the 90s. Yeah, it did. Well, I'll tell you something about New Nightmare. One of the things that affects that movie is even though like some of the scenes are cool, but Freddy's in the daytime a lot, you know, mm-hmm. uh, unlike, mm-hmm. uh, unlike the other nightmare movies, like her getting taunted and, and harassed on the phones is during the day. Uh, him dragging the coffin down into the hole is pretty cool, but it's during the day. Uh, it, it just does something. We get to see Freddy super clear in the day and it just doesn't help that makeup. Right. Now, well, when it came out, I thought it, was, it looked good, but yeah, looking back on it now, I can see where Zach's coming from. Well, there's one thing that used to scare me when I was a kid, and I think is uh, I think is a really cool scene, even though it looks really dated now with the effects. But I mean, I've had that nightmare where I was running, and there was a giant figure in the sky, like Freddy when he appeared in the sky, and then mm-hmm. he brings down his claw and picks up the kid, and he's oh him yeah, over, traffic. over the traffic. Yeah, yeah I, that to me, that's a really that's a really cool like nightmare. Um, and I can see how they, they never really tried to pull that off in the old movies. Maybe the effects weren't there. I don't know. No, but, I don't think And so. remember when everybody turned in all the Freddies running at him? Mm-hmm. Like, I don't know. Psych. Really? 
Did he say really? Yeah, he goes, really? Psych? What a fucking idiot. <laughs> fucking Shang Tsung. Brothers don't surf. You're waiting for that line. That's the best quote in the movie, man. <laughs> this kind of reminds me of a Three Ninjas Strike Back. Oh, God. The Cave of Gold? I really like the last action hero thing. I think we should do that sometime. Ah, it's insanely quotable. Mm-hmm. Not a great movie by any stretch. But it's Whatever really happened to that kid, dude? Oh, the the kid. He was in My Girl 2 and that. That's all I know him. I mean, it's like the two yeah. movies. And they're like around the same time. What an idiot. My girl. I used to love My Girl. thought it was great. Mm-hmm. That is it okay? Too. Yeah. I love Tom it? Noonan as a bad guy. He was great. Who? Tom Noonan. He's the Ripper. As the Ripper? What are you talking about? Last Action Hero. Oh, I thought he said My Girl. Like, what the fuck? No. Yeah, yeah, the guy from uh, Last Action Hero. Yeah, he's a, he's a pretty good bad guy. Kino's hair looks like it was just washed and conditioned, and we know he's been on a boat and he hasn't fucking bathed. Look how flimsy that looks. It looks fucking horrible. And it stabbed through a rock. <laughs> you guys ever seen Carnosaur? Oh, I've, Carnosaur, I've seen yeah. I've seen the dude the box a million times. I've never watched it. I used to it's love it when I was while. younger. When I was a kid. Yeah. About Theodore Rex with Whoopi Goldberg. Yeah, we talked oh, about yeah. that. Oh yeah. I watched that movie, uh, Tammy and the T Rex, where fucking p- they put Paul Walker's brain in a T Rex. Oh, Excuse really? Me? Yeah, <laughs> it's pretty ridiculous. What about Chairman of the Board starring Carrot Top? Oh, with Carrot Top, dude. <laughs> yeah. God, I've never, I've never seen that. that. I've never seen it either, but I've watched that trailer a million times. You know why? Because it used to be a trailer on the VHS for Wally Sparks. You guys remember that movie with uh, uh, Ronnie Dangerfield? No. Oh, yeah. Oh, I think Wally Sparks is fucking hilarious. But uh, and it's such a stupid movie. But it, we used to own it on video. And that chairman of the board fucking movie was always on before it. And uh, it looked like the worst thing ever. I watched the movie. It was on... Uh Shitty TV a few weeks ago, Baby Geniuses. The movie's awful, dude. Oh, with Christopher Lloyd, dude, and the babies? Yeah, I Bob Clark directed that. I can't believe he directed that piece of shit. The movie sucks so bad. Yeah, that one's pretty infamous. Kathleen Turner was in it. It was no serial mom. Oh, Which I, I wasn't, a, I thought it was okay. I mean, people love that movie. That's what, okay. Serial Mom? Yeah, just because it was directed by... Uh, John Waters. Face? John yeah, Waters. Waters. I'm not a fan of John Waters, though. I'm really Cry not. Crybaby. Like, I, I really like Crybaby. No, nah, I'm not into that. Fuck you. We'll go for it. I mean, I just, I'm not into it. You know, have you guys ever, like, been to, like, dollar stores and you've seen, like, the discount dollar VHSs or DVDs back in the day of, like, just total reject movies? Oh, Yeah. You know, I, I remember mm-hmm. one of my most reject finds I found at a dollar store. It was at like the fucking Dollar Tree or something. And it was uh, Buford's Beach Bunnies starring Jim Hanks. What the fuck is that? It's Tom Hanks' brother, dude. And, it, and <laughs> by the look by the look of the cover, it looked like an 80s style Tom Hanks movie. You know, like his sort of like party comedies he used to do. But it was just this shitty... Bu- Buford's Beach Bunnies, and it was, it was starring Jim Hanks, who looks was it directed the- by John Waters. No, it's not. I'm looking at it right now. You remember Jim Hanks? He had a small part in Desert Heat, Todd. He looks exactly like Tom Hanks, man. He's in Desert Heat, dude. I don't, what part was he? I don't remember. Dottie, uh, would you, would you want to go out with me? Oh yeah, yeah. He's okay. that guy. Go see a uh, Yo Jimbo Samurai movie. It's like uh, cowboy movies with samurais. 
Buford's Beach Bunnies. Oh. Buford Pusser. Uh, one of the Is reviews it- on IMDb, it says, should come with Tylenol. <laughs> <laughs> one star. <laughs> it uh see and, and if you know is if you if you remember him in desert heat he's the worst fucking actor <laughs> he he did not get the talent like tom hanks did and the thing is, is he takes uh tom hanks scraps that's where he gets all his work is uh basically jim hanks does all the voice work for woody and all the shit tom hanks won't do the cartoons uh the tv shows the video games right they sound similar. To them? Oh, they they sound identical. Mm-mm. They sound identical, and he would always take his fucking older brother scraps. Isn't that funny? He was that in is. Baby Geniuses too. <laughs> was he? <laughs> yes. You didn't even notice him, dude. <laughs> no. How would you like it if you took your older brother's scraps? Like your older brother was all successful, and then you took all his fucking scraps. Like, oh yeah, thanks. Tom got a franchise under his belt. Great. Now I get to do all the fucking direct the. Video shit. Yes. Even even Colin's doing better than t- the Jim Hanks did. Well, like, and I have always wondered this. What is it like at Christmas time at the Hanks house? Like, they all get uh, together. Hey, Jim, how you doing? Fuck you, Tom. <laughs> you know, I'm just saying, like, they all get together. It's like, oh, there's fucking Uncle Jim. <laughs> that fucking guy. Like, so, uh, Tom, do you got any more, uh, you got a new Toy Story movie coming out, I heard. Am I going to get to do, uh, you know, get a piece of that action? Now he's waiting for Tom to divorce his wife. Why? So he can fuck her. So he can f- complete the transition of totally becoming him? Because he gets the, the leftovers. Scraps. <laughs> you fucking set up a joke and then don't I know, fucking get I it know. Whenever, I, whenever I finish it. You told it too late, man. Timing. Get us up out of here. Am I the minority here? But I can't stand Jack Black. Oh, Zach's a big Jack Black fan. I think I like Jack Black. I He's don't uh, awful dude. Man, I, I don't, I'm in par- I'm partial. I mean, like his I best don't think- movie was Airborne, and that was his first movie. Was that his very first movie? Uh, yeah, I think. Let me double check. No, I think he was in uh, Never Ending Story three. Uh no, he's in a few other ones before Airborne. Like, I think Jack Black's been good in things. I just think he hasn't had a lot of good movies, and I think you know he exploded for a moment there, and he was just in all kinds of shit. You know, um, I mean, School of Rock's funny. I mean, that's kind of his his title it's movie. It's okay. It's a Saturday afternoon movie. I mean, it's nothing. Stealing Harvard is awesome. King Kong is a pile of shit. Or not yeah. stealing Harvard. Fucking saving Silverman. I, mean, I know you got that for me, man. Because last time yeah. you guys were you guys were fucking talking <laughs> about that, and I called it the other one. <laughs> stealing Harvard's good too, but that's Tom Green and Jason Lee. Orange okay. County. That Colin Hanks was in that. Yeah. I like Orange, oh, Orange County. Yeah, right. that's right. Nah. Um, Jack Black and him. I remember seeing all those early 2000s sex comedies back then. Jack Jack Black wasn't even good. He couldn't even uh, save the cable guy from being good. You know cable what? I, I, give him, I give him props. I, I love Cable Guy, dude. I love that movie. I mean, saving it from being bad, that didn't make any sense. Oh, I hate the Cable Guy. I don't think it... The thing is... I the love cable, the Cable Guy. The Cable Guy has a lot of... It's really quotable. It's hysterical. It's got, lot, it's got a lot of great quotes in it, but the movie, as, it's, as it stands, I just don't think it's very good at all. Oh, but I can what? quote it nonstop. Everybody hates on the Cable I love it, dude. No, no. I will not play Porno, for pa- porno Pass or my mother. It's just skin thieving. You know, there's a, there's a bunch of lines, and you know, my brother's Owen, a speech Owen therapist. Hilarious in that. What? I it just oh. there's something about the movie as a whole, man. It's just something about you, dude. You're I defective. Know, I, I guess. But You're defective. Am I really your buddy? <laughs> yeah, sure you are. Yeah, but I get really Cigarettes. lonely.
God. Did he just break the fourth wall? He did. Yeah, he did. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> well, throw it at him. Dude, you might just commit a murder, dude. <laughs> he's all excited. Like, this is, a, this is a kid in high school, dude. He's all excited that he just blew up a fucking Jeep. He got held back a lot. This movie does not hold up. It really doesn't. You're absolutely no, right. It's not. It's not very good at all. No, it's it's bad. It's bad, man. It's goofy. It's not even entertaining anymore. It's really no, not. It's not. The jokes are stupid. They're not even <laughs> stupid like, like you could still kind of, uh, you know, reminisce about they're just stupid they're not good like i i listen to these jokes i'm like did i ever think these were funny when i was a kid and if i do if i did i was a faggot man i don't know it's just they're not funny some movies You're do a faggot i guess faggots some movies- think stupid shit's funny <laughs> brothers some don't mo- surf <laughs> some brothers movies- don't surf <laughs> some movies uh did family humor better and it you know family humor could still be funny it's no airborne. <laughs> he he wraps to think it about, tight. Well, like, think about it. Uh, heavyweights is hilarious. Yeah. Still to this is, day. Yeah. It's the same demographic. Mm-hmm. You know, the, what we're just looking at is Disney versus Disney wannabes. Uh, but, you know, heavyweights is, is freaking hilarious still to this day. Uh, heck, even though the Mighty Ducks movies aren't a slapstick, either funnier. They're, they're got, oh, they're, they're great. Moments. They got great moments, man. There's a lot of great lines in that first uh, Mighty Ducks 2. Um, I still like ooh. Mighty Ducks 2 the best out of the three. That's just me. It's tough. It's it, To me, it's it just depends on which one I haven't seen in the longest time, but I'll usually float back between the first and the second one. I've shifted. Gordon, but you're not just a has-been. You're a never was. You're a never was. I wish they'd take that one down. Don't you? <laughs> That's that's I'll, like the the harshest thing you could ever say to a guy. I dude. love that guy. Using oh, never yeah. was. Now listen, Crotch. <laughs> Same guy. You mean the way he's always playing them stupid computer games? They're not just see, games to him. See, Netflix will just give a fucking uh, a billion dollar deal to fucking Adam Sandler. Why don't they do it to Polly Shore? I agree. Get rid of Adam Sandler. I'm saying make of a son-in-law sequel. But man, I'd rather, can you? I'd rather watch a Polly Shore movie than an Adam Sandler. Can you believe? Movie. Can you believe how much money they dropped to buy that new Scorsese movie, The Irishman? I'm excited Netflix about did? that. Yeah, they dropped over 100 million, 110 million, to acquire the uh, new Scorsese movie, The Irishman, and it's going to have De Niro, Pacino, uh, Pesci, and Keitel. That's an exclusive. It's exclusive. They bought it. Oh, that's cool. It's going to go straight to streaming, which I think will be great. Uh, I mean, you know, because basically he was – the Irishman was kind of in development, development hell for a while and Paramount dropped out. I mean, it's just all – you think Martin Scorsese is one of those directors this day and age where you just let him fucking do what he wants. No, it was it was probably something to do with silence, right? I think silence didn't do well and it was this big, uh, big project and it didn't make any money and then he probably lost a little cred. But they didn't want to take a chance on what he wanted to do with the Irishman. So I mean, <clears throat> Netflix, they took the risk and dropped all the fucking load on it, and they're letting them do whatever he wants. So it's Netflix too. You guys were talking about this on the uh, revival hobo episode, and like you, you, you said like, oh, can you think of another director that's that you look forward to their movies? And if I was there, I would have said the guy that did you Blue Bowl? Ruin and oh. Green Room. See, I didn't, I didn't like Green Room. I thought it was boring. Oh, you did. Yeah, I just I couldn't get into it, but I still haven't seen Blue Ruin. I'll give that one a chance, but and ev- that was on everybody's top ten list last year. Was that uh, Green Room? I just, yeah. I just, I couldn't get into. I don't know why. I still it, didn't watch it. So probably, like, it is probably over overhyped to a lot of people too. Yeah, which always sucks. So we did Blue Ruin, Green Room. Is he gonna do the Red Heat remake next? Let's go. Let's go. Through no, the I was. I was just gonna mention that his next movie's going to Netflix. Oh, okay. They bought it. What is it? Do you know what it's called? I don't know. It's it's, it's the it. wave of the future, man. I'm, I mean, I'm all for it. It's kind of cool to have these movies and 
you know, it, it makes the subscription you pay monthly well worth it. If they're going to put out these exclusive movies, man, that would normally, because I mean, if it, if Paramount would have put it out, we would have been paying $10 to go see a Scorsese movie. I mean, I'm excited about it. It's funny. I, watched- I, was, I was just telling Zach, I'm done going to the theater, man. I was at the theater tonight and I had some guy chomping popcorn in my ear for 30 minutes. It drove me insane. And yeah, it took me out of the movie. Especially when there's like not, yeah, oh, it's worse. I just looked it up. The movie's called Hold the Dark, and it's filming. His name's Jeremy Salnier. Salnier? Okay. That'd have been mine. No, he's definitely talented. I'll give him that. I just, I couldn't yeah. get into. Yeah. He didn't like seeing fucking. The I haven't fucking, seen it uh, yet, man. No spoilers, man. I haven't seen it. You yet. didn't like seeing Picard. Hey man, and, hey, and man. the fucking guy. Hey, hey shut hey, up! Man. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna spoil anything, dude. <laughs> okay. I was gonna make a joke about how I look at it as if it, it's a fucking uh, Star Trek movie, just in a mirror universe, <laughs> and it's Picard and the guy from the uh, oh the new movies. the alternate timeline. Yeah, yeah, the, the guy that died, yeah. the Ar- the Aryan leader, the bass player. All right. But yeah, I can't remember the last time I had like a really pleasurable cinema experience. It's it's kind of rough. I'm not, I'm not going back. My wife said the same thing. She she hates it too. I'd rather just stay at home and watch. Wait till it comes out on on demand or whatever. Yeah, I don't. I want to like it. There's still, I mean, like I want to be able to go out to the theater just to shake it up. But you know, it's like you're uncomfortable. I mean, I don't know. There's one theater, it's kind of far away, but sometimes I go to it and I pay the extra money because they've got the lounge seats and, you know, uh, I don't know. Like, I can be comfortable at home. I don't have to be yeah, uncomfortable. We went to the the Alamo and it was so hyped. People talking about the Alamo Did draft. Piss on they it? just made one. And they had, uh, it's kind of like a Cynodyne, which. Here's you know, the brothers I, don't serve. I, try, I tried it, but, uh, oh, it already passed. But um, I I just don't like the whole Cinedine experience. I don't know why. It's just it's not as fun to go to the theater anymore. I don't I don't see myself doing it. That was the first movie I've seen in like a year in the theaters. Wow! Did you eat though there? Did you even like try it? Yeah, I know. I ate the food. The food was good and everything. So Other how does that, it work? Do they have like little bitty like uh, TV trays in front of the seats? Yeah, pretty much. They have trays, and then they have like a waiter that like crouches and walks on his you know pretty much hands. What? Yeah, so he so he doesn't like obstruct any of the view of the film and stuff. And he's like crawling, dude, on his knees, dude. Pretty much, yeah. He's got his food in his hands. And he just puts it on the ground and starts pushing it on the carpet. That's I interesting. I just I, I wasn't a, I wasn't a big fan. Was the theater quality though, like the screen, the seats? Yeah, but I mean, everything's shot digital now, so there's no point in actually going to the theater. It's like. Throw on a Blu-ray, it's the same thing. Unless you're watching a 35 millimeter print, one of the old movies. But well, and even even then, like you're not going to get the quality as you will at home on your uh, 4K or whatever TV you got at home. You know, they don't. You're not watching a giant ass 4K screen at the movie theater. I think it's bigger than 4K. It's pretty much that. I mean, it's it doesn't look nearly as good. Why not? No. no. I think it. like 30, 35 millimeter film is like 12K or something like that. Oh, 35. I mean, is. 35 doesn't look good, but I mean, still, I, the nostalgia fact, 35, it just, it's better to see those old films than actual film. Mm-hmm. I watched fucking Rings last night. How was it? Was, it? Wasn't very good, but it was better than uh, Ring 2. Oh, was it actually better than the Ring 2, though? Really? Yeah, I mean, Ring 2 was terrible, though. I know, but Rings looked really bad. I didn't though. even know they made Ring too. Well, maybe it's a little shittier, a little better than Ring Two. My point was, it's shitty. <laughs> I know. I ran away from your point. Like, it's got Ring- the guy from Roseanne in it. Uh oh, so- fucking in, in that one TV show, David. You know Johnny David. Johnny Johnny Galecki. Galecki. Uh. Yeah, screw I said him. Pilecki. 
I don't give a shit about the Big Bang Theory, but I always liked him in the Roseanne. I love Roseanne. Roseanne. Roseanne's, I still watch that every night. It's on TV. He was in that movie Suicide Kings, too, with Christopher Walken. I, I fucking hate that show, that uh, Big Bang Theory, though. I can't stand I, it. I can't get into it. I just don't get the comedy. I don't no. get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. I, I mean, don't laugh you, once. You can say we're nerds and everything, but just the way they talk is just, I don't know. I, I don't get it. People love it so much, and I don't get it. I just, I can't. I don't find it funny, and it seems mm. like one big beat up, drawn out joke over ten seasons. Like I get yeah. it, like one big Star <laughs> Trek joke, Virgin joke. I don't know. It's like Will and Grace, man, where it's like eight seasons of them just making gay jokes. I'm like, this is fucking stupid. Yeah, uh, I can't stand that show. That show is my kryptonite. Will and Grace. Oh. Yeah, that's that's awful. And women love it. My fucking mom loves it. My fucking sisters love it. I. I go home and I'll, I'll I'll see everybody and they're always fucking watching Will and Grace and die and laughing at all the. I can't see her. Like, I can't see your mom liking Will and Grace. She fucking loves it and she fucking dies laughing. And it's the show is such formula. They literally have these homosexuals and they make the most obvious, uh, opened up punchline homosexual joke that would that if a straight guy made it, it's honestly offensive. It's like wow, like you would think gay people get so up in arms about this if this came out today. You know, but this was, it's just, it's just stupid. It's just not even funny. There's a few good shows out there. Like, like my mom and I used to like uh, Two and a Half Men a lot. We used to watch that all the time. And My uh, mom was obsessed with Two and a Half Men. And yeah, it, it was funny. I mean, that show got a little beat down because like, it was kind of the same shit over and over again. But yeah, yeah. but for, for a while there, it was, it was pretty fire, man. Like, you know, first uh, six, seven, it was, it was good. That show Moms that's on is really funny too. I don't know if you've seen that. Mm-mm. It's with the girl from uh, Scary Movie. Uh, what's oh, Anna Ferris. Anna, Anna Ferris. She's actually really funny in it, and I never thought I'd like her, but yeah, it's a good show. It's funny. I don't. I'm trying to think. Uh, I don't even know what sitcoms are on now that I like. I mean, uh, Fox. Fox was on fire for a little while, but all their shows. Always Sunny in Philadelphia sunny. is good. Yeah, you know what though? First of all, I can't believe that show's still on. What are they? Season twelve now? Thirteen? Mm-hmm. But in that show, I have to give serious props to because I can't believe how good it stayed for so long. But to me, this season and the last season is where it finally started to show its age. But I'm not knocking it because, man, it stayed fucking – it stayed great for like 11 seasons, like consistent, right? For like 10, 11 years. And no show can do mm-hmm. that. But yeah, the last couple, it started wearing a bit. Like, all right, this, these aren't quite as – I I just started watching it. I'm on season three. Oh, so you just started watching the show now. You've never seen them. Yeah. Oh, it's it's hilarious. And and every season will stay fucking flawless all, all the way through like 10 or 11. It's incredible. Then it's just the newest season and last season is, to me, it's still the same show, but it finally just, I don't know, the jokes just stop m- hitting with me a little it's got bit. That, it's got that baby toucher from Seventh Heaven on it. Does he ever disappear? Yeah. yeah Once yeah, they he's, found out he's a baby toucher. <laughs> Yeah, he never came back, obviously. But that show's great. Wait, no, I love it. Was he a baby toucher? I don't even remember he didn't the touch story. Baby. He's a a little girl. It wasn't a baby, but she was like what, yeah. probably fucking twelve. That's fucked up. It's pretty yeah. much the same thing. But you know I don't I mean, know why though, I'm doing but... the I don't know why I'm doing the Corey G voice. I don't even notice it anymore. No, I know you've become one with the G. <laughs> you guys are synonymous. You guys are just like you've merged. You're like uh I don't know. Call you Zach G. I was going to say you're like Freddie and Jesse, dude. Everybody go check out my movie reviews at BigKahunaMovieReviews.com. <laughs> I was telling him. I was telling him how he used to always get pissed because like <laughs> he would. I get it. He would troll like crazy. And that was one thing. But like it got to be a point where I think he was just taking the piss out on us. Like, I think him just being on the show and that whole deal was a big troll because he would do nothing but bring up the same shit. We'd be trying to talk about whatever movie and he would do nothing but talk about Lorenzo Lamas, somehow twisted back to California <laughs> Dreams, just to annoy me, which is fine and funny. That's his character. But, like, he would do nothing but pitch 
big Kahuna movie reviews and the vault of fucking mysterious information. And then I'll never forget when he took over, when he took over our social media and he was posting vault of serious inform, whatever the fuck it is, information fucking all the time. Every hour on the hour. He was spamming the shit out of it, man. And it's just like, dude, come on. What the hell is this? God, and I don't then, even then, remember that anymore. That's crazy. Yeah, oh, man. That was to me the last Leslie straw. Nelson, dude. I know he's Leslie ridiculous. Nelson just grabbed his car. Oh, man. He's packing some quarters, <laughs> dude. <laughs> <laughs> no, but like, yeah, he he got he was on our social media spamming the Vault of Mysterious Information, and he was doing that was the last straw for me, and he was doing this stuff all while at the same time not contributing the, all this shit to like you know we were asking him for reviews, we're at, but he kept doing it on his own shit. Still, it's like man, I thought you know why don't you share it? And then uh, then of course when we went separate ways. I went into his email to delete his email, and he was fucking using our email to reach out to fucking sleazy fucking porn, C-grade porn, Skinamax stars, and trying to use our name to get on his, and he was doing it to get on Vault of Mysterious Information. (laughs) He was using our email to get Vault of, and I'm like, fuck this guy. I think we just ruined any possibility of a reunion. I don't give a shit. (laughs) We're going to have a reunion, uh. A Seagal, a Seagal episode, a retrospective <laughs> of Steven Seagal. You got to, you got to have more than uh, two good movies to have a retrospective. <laughs> I mean, like, what? How many movies he got that's good? He has Marked for Death. The guy he found to do the new podcast he does with is a big fucking Seagal fan too. Well, then I'm glad they found each other. It was fate that those two yeah. homos uh, got together. You know, it's fine. I still love you, Corey. I like Corey. He's funny. Todd's a peacekeeper. I can say I can say that though because he didn't use my fucking email address to talk to porno people. You're the one that fucking talks about him all the time, Zach. <laughs> I don't actually. Want- if he was using my email address to talk to porno people, I'd say, "Whoa, man! You didn't tell me you knew porno people. Get me in on that conversation." Who was that one chick? Uh- that he interviewed, and it was just a really sleazy interview. Oh, yeah, yeah. We I think we did, yeah, we posted that. And then, like, we got, like, a nasty email from somebody that was all pissed off at us for posting it. It's like, why are you talking to this person? Blah, blah, blah. It's like, what? Just, like, what? a ran- <laughs> random listener was mad. I agree like, with the guy. Uh, why the fuck was... I mean... Who- who was it? A porn over? Was it some, a no, no, no. It was somebody they were in a feud with or something? Was in a feud with this lady, uh, some other girl, or I don't know. Was, but he means a, the actress. Bunch of drama, was, bunch of I, drama I mean, crap. I don't, I don't remember who the. But I don't even remember who the actress was. Was her name Rain something? No, no, no. That wasn't her. But uh, she was. She was just in a lot of smut stuff. You know, I don't remember what she did. Your side lost. They needed the scene where Ace Ventura does the slinky down the stairs. I used to think this was so funny when I was a kid. Oh, 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 oh my God, that's so funny. Oh. It's stupid. Stupid. <laughs> Monsoon, dude. Monsoon, dude. So now he's just going to marry this chick? He's not going to let her have a say. He's like, oh, they told her that she has to marry you. Okay. Yeah, you think uh, it'd be like Aladdin <laughs> where he'd set the genie free at the end. That's not really a happy ending. <laughs> what is he doing there? Unless they really like each other, I guess. Was he hey, smoking Bobby a Lee? J, dude? Is he smoking a joint, dude? He was showing how tight his asshole is for anybody interested. <laughs> <laughs> this this lip syncing is almost as bad as fucking Save by the Bell, dude. <laughs> Fucking! <laughs> you, you, have you seen the guy that played the principal on Saved by the Bell recently? Uh, he's on Sunny Dennis Philadelphia. Haskins. Yeah, he got fat. Oh, he's yeah. on Sunny in Philadelphia. Did you get to that episode yet? Oh no. Yeah, he'll be Mr. Belding. Will be on the episode. The the show. And he plays. Uh, he plays a pedophile, right? Does he? <laughs> Um, I don't. I can't remember if he's a pedophile or if he just like touched Charlie or one of them. So the, some the, sex, some kind of sexual deviant. Oh, okay. I saw that. I just didn't recognize him. I guess my favorite yes. episode so far is the one where they think that rapper's retarded. Oh, 
That one was fucking hilarious. I think my favorite. I don't know. There's so many good episodes. I like to. I usually default and say my favorite episode is uh, the one where the uh, the gang wrestles for the troops, where they put on that wrestling match. Have you seen that yet? No, I don't and think they so. they put on this like charity wrestling match, uh, wrestling match to like benefit these homeless troops in the street, and uh, it's ridiculous, man. Dane DeVito, his character is uh, he's so gung ho about uh, dressing up as this character called the Trash Man. <laughs> it's so fucking retarded, and uh, you know Cricket, the priest. Mm-hmm. Have you gotten that far yet? Yeah. Okay, man. It's just there's a scene in it. I don't want to ruin it, man, but it's. The, the show Charlie, go- does, Charlie the- likes to do the green man where he just for no reason puts on a green screen outfit. Yeah. Well, what's it's- funny, too, is that show, you know, Mac, the whole running joke that he's a homosexual and he doesn't know it, you know, is hilarious. They'll do that the entire series. But in the new season, they finally like acknowledged it. And it's like, it's not funny. It's like, really? You guys are that you guys are out of ideas. Because it, it's what made it so funny. He was always this gay guy, but he never knew he was gay. He's always obsessed with male forms and bodybuilding. And it's fucking hilarious. Um, but in the the newest season, he comes out and realizes he's gay. I'm like, wow, that's not funny anymore. Stupid. He was having sex with that chick that was a dude. Yeah, the transvestite. It's, it's fucking hilarious. Yeah. It's Wasn't so that funny. the girl from... Uh, Joe Dirt? Yeah, Joe Dirt. Joe Dirt. Yeah. How the fuck that dude? It's ridiculous, man. So this doesn't hold up. Uh, I give it a 2 out of 10. Well, obviously, we didn't really talk about the fucking movie One Iota. We, we were trying, <laughs> but we were just like, man, this movie is a... Uh, it's a turd, man. Good. It's a turd. I loved it when I was a kid, but man, it didn't man, hold up. I love seeing that when uh, someone like Todd has one feeling at the beginning, and at the end, he has a total different feeling. Disappointing, man. Yeah, the way you were acting, whenever we brought up, let's do... Uh, we had this to do and a bunch of other movies, and we're like, let's do... Uh, Surf Ninjas, and then Aaron just all quiet, like, eh, we should have took that as a sign. Well, <laughs> I I would have been in the same boat as Riverman had I not watched it two weeks ago. I watched it, mm-hmm. and I I already relived it and reminisced it, and I watched it by myself without commentaries going on, so I was actually able to really try and focus on it. I'm like, wow, well, this isn't good. I blame you. You poisoned the well. So... <laughs> Look at all these names, though. These are cool. Kitty Pong. Boonta. It takes a lot of people to make a movie that bad. Chawika. Yeah, it does. <laughs> Boon Song. I thought we already saw Boon Song. Poon. 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 Yuri. These oh, beats now, now it's the American guys. Special thanks to Tasia Abe. The only other movie that I know Kino was in after this was Rush Hour 3. Or right, was it Rush Hour? Yeah, I think it was Rush Hour 3. And uh, he had a very, he had a bit part. He didn't have any lines. He played like a thug. But he's a stuntman. And uh, so him, who, Chan from the Mortal Kombat movie, he's also just a stunt guy. And, yeah. uh, you know, he just somehow got put in the movie for Mortal Kombat, but he's he does a lot of stunt work. And he he's on Conan O'Brien pretty regularly too, doing stunt things, stunt uh, skits with Conan. So Conan the Mor- Barbarian? Conan O'Brien. Stuck uh, with you, Carousel Walls. Cock, cock of, the, of North. the North. What the Cock fuck? of the North, man. I am the cock of the North. I think that was a credit for when Leslie Nielsen grabbed his cock. Boo. Yeah, it's a shitty movie. Like I don't, I'm, I know we're almost done with the credits, but I don't really. I just, I'm just struggling. Now the question is, if we had a time machine and we can go back, would we do it and tell ourselves not to do this movie? Yes, because there is a following out there. Surprisingly, people still talk about. But this. these are people who haven't watched it in 15 years. I know. And, and my recommendation would, is to them is to uh, don't watch it again. Just remember it the way you remember it. Absolutely, absolutely, <laughs> don't, absolutely. don't ruin your childhood. You what know, if this is one? Because it's always hard to tell which ones are going to get the most hits whenever we do them, and this is one of those that gets like a bunch of hits. No, it's People always like the obscure. It. It's always the obscure out of print, like horror genre movies. I mean, this this movie. I mean, if if heavyweights doesn't get a lot of hits, this one probably isn't getting a lot. Evil of tunes. Time. People still love evil tunes, man. Yeah. Well, mm. and then like movies like Showdown, movies like uh, 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 fucking Night of the Demons Two. You know, it's kind of not too hard to make a good guess. 
uh, you know, at which ones are going to do better than other ones. But uh, I want to do Psycho Cop. That'd be a good one. Psycho oh, is that Cop. the one you were telling me about last week? Yeah. Yeah, I want to check that out. I put it in a box and we can do it sometime. Yeah. I still, have, uh, I still have my Charles Band signed PMS Cop. <laughs> I never watched God. it. Charles Band. That's funny. PMS Cop. Yeah. It's, you could probably put it together what it is. <laughs> oh, it's so funny man but uh no yeah so like this movie like i said as far as my recommendation to people out there who have fond memories of it i like to think this movie has the nes effect i've had many fond memories of certain old nes video games and then when i try and go back and relive memories i just crush my memories like wow this game sucks yep. and it ruins every fond memory i ever had of playing those games and uh, the majority of old NES games aren't good. You know, there's there's a there's a couple, few handfuls that are great and they hold up, but the rest of them they they live better as memories because when we were kids, it took less to satisfy us. That's the case with this movie too. I don't so, know what it is. So are you saying I shouldn't go back and play the Home Alone Sega game? That game sucks, dude. I I loved it when I was a kid. It's horrible. I mean, I I I want to say I played that game not that long ago, actually, like on an emulator. But I used to own that. I used to own it on Sega Genesis myself. I used um, to rent it all the time. I loved it. Used to rent it all the time. That's horrible. Um, but yeah, horrible, <laughs> horrible, horrible, just horrible. That's terrible. That's terrible. Uh, yeah. Anyway, so we're not gonna really uh, waste any more time on this piece of shit. Uh, but um, I don't know. We probably should do liar liar if we're gonna do the comedy route. I'm, I'm glad we did this. Yeah, we got it. Out. We got it out of our system. We showed Todd the light. Yeah, we straightened him out. Done. We straightened him it's out. Done. But anyway, let us know what you guys think of the movie. Uh, if you guys still happen to like it, uh, that's fine. You just got bad taste. That's your prerogative. And if you guys have any recommendations on other movies, we should do. Be it uh, you know '90s movies like this. Be it cult movies. I don't care. We'll watch anything because you know we really don't. I don't want to say loyal to any sort of theme. We just want to watch movies and talk over movies and, and chat movies. So let us know what we should do. Like us, follow us, all that shit. Share us with your friends and uh, keep on cruising. Keep on cruising. That's all I got. Adios.